Strange, but true stories. Tales from the light side, the dark side, and the other side. I'm Steve White. Since we began this channel, I have ended each story by asking for your true story submissions. We've received several hundred encounters from people all over the globe, some eager and some a little hesitant to tell us their story. Most have been of the garden variety of paranormal stories, ghosts, Bigfoot, UFO, guardian angels, run-ins with demonic entities, and we have been more than happy to receive them. But this next story is one of the strangest to have graced our inbox. In its essence, it's a glitch in the timeline story, but how this person got there is the mystery. We should also say that we are about to give you the instructions on how to go to the same place. First, you're going to need a building with at least 10 floors and an elevator. Use them at your own peril. Or at least say goodbye to the ones you love before proceeding. I can't remember much of it, but I can remember all the things that created the events right now. This happened actually not too long ago. My friends and I were playing a game, but this wasn't an ordinary game, otherwise I wouldn't be contacting you on this. The name of the game is The Elevator Game. Usually people don't think that rituals like this can work. Well, follow these steps to find out for yourself if it works or not. Here are the specific instructions for the game. I'll tell you my story after I give them to you. 1. Enter the elevator from the first floor by yourself. If anyone else gets on, then understand that you cannot continue and wait until the elevator can be taken alone. 2. Press the button for the fourth floor. 3. Do not get out when the elevator reaches the fourth floor. Stay in the elevator and press the button for the second floor. 4. Do not get out when you reach the second floor. Stay on the elevator and then press the button for the sixth floor. 5. Do not get out when you reach the sixth floor. Remain in the elevator and press the button for the second floor. 6. Do not get out when you reach the second floor. Stay on the elevator and press the button for the tenth floor. Some have reported hearing a voice calling to them on the second floor during this middle section of the ritual. Do not reply. Do not answer in any way. 7. Do not get out once you have reached the 10th floor. Stay on and press the button for the 5th floor. 8. It has been reported by some that a woman may enter the elevator on floor 5. She may appear as a stranger who wishes to engage with you. More importantly, she may appear as someone you know. It is important that you do not acknowledge her in any way. If the elevator you are in is reflective, then stare at the floor or the buttons only. 9. Now press the button to head to the first floor. If instead of going towards the first floor you instead begin to ascend to the tenth, then you have performed the ritual correctly. However, and this is very important, if you instead do descend to the first floor then you have done something wrong. Get off on the first floor immediately. If the woman is on the elevator, then remember not to acknowledge her. 10. If you reach the 10th floor, you can either stay on the elevator or exit the elevator. Some have reported that upon attempting to leave the elevator, the woman will try one last time to engage with you. She may raise her voice and ask where you are going or what's wrong. She may shriek as you cross the door's threshold. Keep your wits about you and do not engage or look at her even out of fear. 11. There is only one way to know whether you have traveled to the other world for sure. You will know because you will be the only person there. I did all that the rule said except for the first rule. Why? Because the site that we read the rules on didn't say anything about having only one person on the elevator. I followed all of the other rules. I also have ADHD, so when the girl came onto the elevator, I couldn't help myself. I looked. The girl looked like Samara from The Ring, except she had blood pouring out of every hole in her body, and her hair was scarlet red. 
Me being the scared little girl I am, I screamed and backed up as far away as I could to the other side of the elevator. Watching in horror as the small demon from hell staggered her little body toward me, but once she came to me, my vision faded, very, very slowly, until she was so close I could feel her breath on my forehead. After that, she whispered something in another language that I couldn't understand. I could only repeat it over and over in my head until my vision faded to black. This morning, I woke up in my bed, thinking that all of it was a dream. But after I repeated the words in my head over and over again and thought over the entire night with my friends, planning the whole ordeal, I got out of my bed not even noticing that literally everything had changed around me. My bed sheets were white instead of purple. My blanket was also white instead of blue. I had no pillows, and I wasn't even in the same house as my family. Right now, as I write this, I am unsure if they even exist in this timeline. I started looking things up on YouTube, and one of your videos came up. In my timeline, you didn't even exist, or at least your channel didn't. I tried sleeping to see if I could go back. I didn't. I can't even remember what I had for breakfast today. All I can remember is my friends and I were wanting to do a scary game. Now, they don't even exist. If you're planning to do the elevator game, one simple word for you, don't. Either that, or don't look at the girl who gets on the elevator. I still wonder if my friends looked at her too and are in a different timeline. That's all I need to know. The questions raised are, what happened to my family? How do I get back? Where or when are my friends? I'll go and look some things up that'll help me, or someone who's been through this could help me. I need to get back home. So, what do you think? Do you know how to help this girl get back to her original timeline? Do you want to embark on the same journey? I would have tried to replicate this scenario prior to posting this piece, but people kept telling me my elevator didn't go all the way to the top. I wonder what they meant. Well, however this person got here to this reality, we are always happy to have a new subscriber to our channel. Have you had a strange glitch in your timeline? A ripple in the space-time continuum that gave you a glimpse or maybe even shifted you into a new realm? We would love to hear about it. Send us an email to strange but true stories too at gmail.com. Let us know what you thought of this video in the comments below and subscribe if you haven't already. We appreciate everybody who has, no matter from what ethereal plane they arrived on. I'm Steve White. Thanks for watching. Until next time.